and five, four, three. Welcome to Peacekeeper Reaction. My name's Ethan. Thanks for uh, joining us today, you guys. It's a very special episode as we continue our coverage of Eurovision 2023. And what a Eurovision it's been so far as we get to know our submissions from all 37 countries. And uh, I got to say, there's a lot of great songs. It's going to be really hard to narrow it down to a top 10, but it's something that I got to do. Um, where are we heading to now? We're going to be heading over to Switzerland, um, a country that I don't know a ton about. Just probably stereotypical stuff, right? Like Swiss cheese is a thing, right? With holes. It's got the holes. Uh, what else? Oh, um, I think Zeal and Arder is from Switzerland, right? And they fucking rule. I saw them a few months back live in concert. Uh, blew my fucking mind. They are so great. Uh, but, uh, Switzerland is a mountainous central European country, home to numerous lakes, villages, and high peaks of the Alps. Oh yeah, the Swiss Alps. Oh, and also when I was a kid, when I misbehaved, my mother threatened to send me to a boarding school in Switzerland, which is an odd thing to say to a child. Um, its cities contain medieval quarters with landmarks like Capital Burns, Zitglog Clock Tower. Everyone's always raving about that clock tower. And Lucerne's Wooden Chapel Bridge. The country is also known for its ski resorts and hiking trails. Banking and finance. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? You put them in a Swiss account. I got an account in Switzerland. Um, our key industries. Squeeze me. Ooh, and Swiss watches. Yeah, everyone's always talking about them. Watches. And chocolate. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a character from The Simpsons who says, uh, Don't chase on me. I'm full of chocolate. <laughs> uh, our world renowned. All right. Well, um, very interesting. What are some famous Swede or Swiss, Swiss, Switzerlandian people? Carl Jung, hey? Eh? He's a very influential uh, therapist, I guess. Uh, he came up with the concept of having... Uh, like an inner self and an outer self. You know, this isn't a TED Talk, folks. Albert Einstein, he was Swiss? Cool, I didn't even know that. H.R. Geiger. Wow. Jean-Luc Godard. I mean, obviously very influential filmmaker. I went to film school, so I learned about him. Uh, yeah, very cool. Hans Kung? I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to be checking out uh, Remo Forer. Uh, and the song is Water Gun. So what do you say, guys? Why don't we just dive right into this mofo? Oh, we got to have a shot. Oh, I'm drinking some uh, Salmiaki vodka from the Finnish region of Finland. All right, let's do it. Remo Forerer, Water Gun. Don't call me Water Gun on Peacekeeper.
Nothing hurts when you're bulletproof I remember, yes I do, I do I'm gonna need a sack, you guys. Hold on, I'm feeling beclept. Oh man, that made me quite uh, emotional, man. Holy shit! Hold on one second. I know I'm not a pussy. There's no crying in baseball. All right, get a hold of yourself. All right. Well, I gotta say, I'm blown away. This is could be my favorite song of the bunch. Uh, I, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and 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 say it early, but uh, I fucking love this. Uh, so I I grew up in a uh, a punk rock world. All a lot of my favorite bands are activist bands. I mean, anti flag, propaganda. You know, uh, the, these bands that sang about issues, sang about war. I think I got a lot of my education from this music, and it really formed my opinions, but especially about war, about violence, about corporations, about government, um, you know, and I got to say, this is kind of that punk rock ethos uh, done in, with a new spin, you know, but I, I, I mean, obviously, you take this melody, you take these words, you put some distortion guitar on it, you got to hit, you got a green day. <laughs> But uh, uh, in all seriousness, uh, these lyrics are beautiful. This, first of all, before we go into this lyrics, this guy's voice, Remo. I wasn't expecting this guy. I gotta say, he's a little, a little young, kind of looking twerp. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, with this set of pipes, a uh, very deep voice. I love that. You know, I love that baritone. As a Canadian, I also love crash test dummies and stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, I was just so I was blown away by his pipes. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Um, but these lyrics, I mean, um, this is uh, the reality of war. Like, it's isn't it blow your mind that there are still wars going on that we can't find diplomatic um, ways to solve all of our problems. The fact that in 2023, there's more wars going on in the world, you know, that there's one that gets a lot of attention and that's great because I'm anti-war. And I think that uh, the more people are, 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 are uh, see the horrors of war and, and, and uh, uh, the more that we can talk about these other smaller wars that uh, a lot of people don't even know are going on and where these young men are kind of drafted, uh, taken out of their homes, their future flushed down the toilet um, uh, when they die for, I mean, let, let's face it, has there ever been uh, since World War II, I guess you could say? Um, well, I, you could uh, definitely World War II. It's, I'm not saying like, I, I guess, of course, but, uh, since World War II, has there been a war that's been necessary? Like think about, uh, all the people who died in the, uh, in Afghanistan for that 25 year war. And it seems like for nothing. And, uh, sorry, it's a, uh, it's a topic that I'm very emotional about because I'm so fucking, it's such bullshit. You guys, we have to 
our politicians don't give a fuck about us. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So we're, we shouldn't be fighting for patriotism and, and, and everything is fine, but we shouldn't be going to war with these people's agenda. They're not looking out for us. You know what I mean? I, uh, oh. Anyways, I, I this is supposed to be fun, but I got to say this kind of so far, it seems like a perfect song, a perfect kind of uh, song for, for today's world, the world that we live in in 2023. This is fucking beautiful. Will this hit as hard uh, with the Eurovision audience, you know, as some of the other kind of funner songs and stuff, you know, maybe people are looking for a little more escapism, this is kind of right in your face. Uh, so, um, amazing. I gotta say, blown away Switzerland. And, uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Wait for our top 10. If you want to get your song request on the show, go to the Patreon, patreon.com slash peacekeeper reaction for $10 a month. You get one song, $20, two, $30, three, and that's Canadian dollars. So in euros, 10 Canadian dollars is like 80 cents. Do you guys have cents? What's a euro? Like a euro is like a dollar, but what's like the cents? Do you guys have that? <laughs> <laughs> is everything rounded up i don't know euros i'd rather have some gyros i was at a uh a greek restaurant once when one of the first times i went and my friend told me they're it's pronounced gyro <laughs> and i ordered it like that like oh what an idiot <sighs> anyways uh join us for the eurovision after show it'll be a lot of fun you guys can call me and talk to me so stay tuned for that and for peacekeeper i'm nathan play safe oh and by the way peacekeeper the name of the show the reason for that is because one canadian ideals used to be we are the world's peacekeeper we don't go and fight conflict we go to uh countries to keep peace and stuff i don't know if we do that so much anymore it's debatable, but uh, that's the reason I named uh, the show Peacekeeper. So awesome. So I'm Nathan. Play safe. I can put my arm back on. <laughs>